Seriously, Dan, thanks for sticking up to me. I mean, I'm getting thrown down to the ground right now. I'm getting mudded, as they say. But, I mean, yeah, I did lose to Savvy Panda in this past qualifier. Um, that's the reason why I'm here on the desk with you instead of being one of the players. Uh, but uh, definitely have a lot of insight from that game. I lost 5-4, a very close game. And, I mean, let me tell you, Savvy Panda definitely had to play very well to hit me out right there because I felt like I was playing decent. It was a great game. He's a great player. And Savvy Panda's always got the upper hand. He has that lucky shirt, the one that he doesn't wash and the one that he wears for every qualifier. I, I hope he's washed it since the last one, but he did say to us, nope, it's got to stay the same. He's very superstitious, but we are underway then in this first match of the day in the lower bracket round. And it's going to be Pablo from left to right in the darker kit. Savvy Panda in the white with the light blue shorts from right to left. And in the early stages, Pablo certainly had a decent spell of possession thus far. As Ronaldo finds Neymar, a nice little one-two, just trying to push himself away from the man, but Tavernier steps in and, as he always does, one of the best defenders in the game. Tavernier definitely is a great defender. He has that pace, that physicality about his play, great defensive tackle, really, really solid player. I've been seeing a lot of pro players, competitive players using him. A player that I want to point out, he just won the ball right there, Ricardo Pereira. Interesting Squad selection from Pablo. He started off Red Rashford at the right center back position for the chemistry and Ricardo Pereira as a right winger. Let's see how it plays out for him using that Rashford off chemistry. Rocha Sanchez dicked one through and almost Cristiano Ronaldo getting the better of Tavernier on that occasion, but not quite working out. Definitely nice signs though for Pablo. Showing that he can break through. He is going to be dangerous and he's putting up the pressure here, amping it up. Neymar to Ronaldo. Nice little directional nutmeg and the finish. And that's going to be the opener for Pablo. A 1-0 lead and you got to say it was coming. Big goal from Pablo right there. T getting his feet wet with his first goal at a big live international event, pro event broadcasted at EA Sports FIFA, E-League TV. That one's definitely going to be feeling very good. The thing about Pablo is that he is a very... Uh, emotional player you can definitely see the emotions um, come out of him whenever he's scoring whenever things aren't going good you can see the frustration um, and I think that attributes to him being an actual college athlete he actually played um, soccer football at a very high level in college university so um, he definitely has experience on the virtual pitch and off the virtual pitch I mean, we saw that in the E Champions League. The Danish under-18s captain was competing in that tournament and got quite far, to be honest. So it certainly does have its advantages. There are a lot of things you can learn from the real pitch and transfer on to the virtual pitch. As that's going to be a free kick and possession back for Pablo. A little bit of a possession spell for Savvy Panda and he's been able to regain it again here. Maybe he can find a goal to get back into this, give him a little bit of confidence. Doesn't want to go too far behind. Doesn't want to allow Pablo to really start to find his footing. As Renato Sanchez just dawdling at the moment, waiting for a little bit of support from the strikers. Maybe he needs to utilize that R1 button to bring some players closer. Atel into Neymar. Drag back. A reverse Elastico is almost enough to beat the man, but it doesn't quite work out. And that is what Savvy Pan is so good at. The quick little skill moves. He's very patient. If you look at that play... He was just passing the ball between his two midfielders, looking for that striker. And then once he gets the ball with the striker, he looks for the quick, fast-paced skill move that's going to beat the defense. Um, thankfully for Pablo, he defended that very, very well. Still a nice bit of possession here, though, for Savvy Panda. Looking dangerous when he gets on the ball with the likes of Neymar. Support with Mbappe on the right-hand side, but Renato Sanchez always in those dangerous areas. Here's Neymar again, just has a couple of defenders to beat. A pop shot that arguably shouldn't have been taken, but somehow still has the ball here, but Van der Sar with a massive save for Pablo. What a save from Van der Sar. We've seen him yesterday on the Xbox side of things, making some amazing, terrific saves. Um, there were some instances where we did see him get B very unfortunately, um, but definitely a very good goalkeeper to have. Van der Sar, he's very tall, great agility, just a great goalkeeper there. I mean, Panda, you could question, maybe he could have taken a little extra touch there, an extra dribble to position himself correctly with Neymar. Chance here for Ronaldo, Ooh. and he's going to finish it as well. 2-0. Again, similar position for Cristiano Ronaldo, just banging it near post. And Savvy Panda's his goalkeeper could not get anywhere near it. 
And I mean, I heard the reaction, Alan. I don't know if you can hear the players as well, but he is living every moment of this, is Pablo. Like I said, Pablo, right? definitely a good friend of mine in the scene. He, he definitely likes to shout that vamos whenever he scores. Very um, filled with emotions. Definitely, it's awesome to see him whenever he's scoring goals. Very high energy. Uh, but definitely, guys, keep an eye out for Pablo. Like I said, this is like the first time we see him at a live event, and he's so far doing amazingly, being super clinical, finishing all the chances that are presented to him. He's a very good player. He trains, he puts in the work. I know that he plays against a lot of pro players in the EMLS, a lot of friendlies, top 200 players, pro players in North America. And I mean, uh, he's definitely a player to look out for. And as I said, I can hear the players at the moment. And there's a constantly a deep breath from Pablo's side just to calm himself down pretty much every time he wins the ball back. Uh, you can tell he's nervous, but on the pitch does not look nervous at all. No. As you mentioned, very clinical in front of goal. He's taken his chances. And aside from that small mistake of a pass there, he's been very much on form for this first half. Only five minutes left for Savvy Panda in this first half to try and get one back and try and give him a little bit of hope and belief. As he will utilize Zinchenko making his way up the pitch now alongside Bruno Fernandes and Renato Sanchez in the midfield. A couple of passes to wait and bide his time and see if these strikers are going to move into a position that he can be utilized as well. Atal. Very much a danger man and was so prominent in yesterday's goal scoring. Cristiano Ronaldo to Sanchez again. Here's Neymar now manages to beat the defenders and what a finish it is. Nice fancy footwork in oh, the box dear. and clinical from Savvy Panda. He very much needed that. And there you go, Savvy Panda getting on the board. I'm telling you, he was off to a slow start, but you just can't rule him out. There's a lot of people to play. He's just getting warmed yeah, up right now, Dan. As the saying goes, Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. And that is what Savvy Panda just did right there. He utilized the ball possession, was playing so slow. You couldn't really see what he was going to craft up. But then the moment presented himself whenever he played the striker and then he stung like a bee and found that goal. And the fact he still can play like that despite being two goals down is good. It shows that he recognizes that he's still got plenty of time as Bruno Fernandes directional nutmegs past the player. Hope will punch that one away. That was a chance for three for Pablo, but Nick Pope yeah, doing enough yeah. this time. As I was saying, when you're two goals down, you start to maybe panic a little bit. Some players will get a little bit antsy. They'll look to try and just play those three balls, rush. However, Savvy Panda knows he has plenty of time. It's two legs of FIFA. Still more than happy to build that possession slowly, and it paid off for him. And now he's right back into this game, Alan. He definitely is. And I mean, there's the experience, the experience coming into place for Savvy Panda. This is his second live event. I mean, he's fifth in the FIFA.GG global ranking North America region uh, for a reason. He's been having to perform very, very good in all of these qualifiers against top players. And I mean, it's not going to face him. He's definitely uh, very used to this. He's a, a great player. Um, he was down, and that's just something very good about him. When I played him as well, I was winning, I believe, uh, in two instances, and he just did not give up. He wasn't playing very rushed because that's what happens with a lot of players that are down, especially early on in the game. They can lose their heads. They're like, oh, no, the lead is um, going further and further away from me. But Panda, as we've seen there, didn't face him at all. He's still playing his way of playing FIFA. He's sticking true to his play style, keeping possession, not forcing any passes, and that right there is key. We're back underway in the second half of this first leg. Savvy Panda with possession. A lot of pressure from Pablo, though, not allowing him any easy passes to his front two. We'll happily, though, wait and be patient again as Bruno Fernandes does get the ball to Neymar's feet. There's the directional nutmeg and the finish to boot. 2-2, two -two, easy as that. We saw Pablo do it at one end and the directional nutmeg now being executed at the other. Exactly what I was going to point out. What a goal right there from Savvy Panda. An identical goal to the one that we've seen in the first half for Pablo. Both of them using that directional nutmeg. Such an effective skill move. Both of these competitors love to use that skill move. It's definitely in their arsenal, uh, their weapons going forward. Um, all you have to do, for those of you guys that don't know about the directional nutmeg, very effective skill move. You press the L1 button, R1 button, and then you flick the right stick in the direction that you want to flick in. Very effective. It is. Um, I mean, the amount of goals that we've seen in recent competitive FIFA tournaments because of that skill. Uh, personally, I would say it needs to be adjusted and could do with a nerf. But, you know, the players are going to take advantage of whatever is strong and powerful at the moment. 
And it really has worked out for both players in this particular game. But there are ways to defend better against it. You don't want to necessarily get too close to your opposition. Give an extra couple of yards so that it's not as easy for them to just smash that ball past you and smash the ball home. So perhaps both players will be a little bit more wise to it coming into this as there it is again just to break away. But Van der Sar got down quickly to his right hand side ensured that it's not going to be a 3-2 lead for Savvy Panda. As he will play the corner short. Hoofs it back to Mbappe. And opting to go all the way back to the defenders here as well. Not taking too much of a risk now is Savvy Panda. More than happy to build it slowly. But on this occasion, it's not going to work out. Big miss right there from Panda. Once again, what a great save from Edwin Vanersar of Inner Miami. Plot Pablo. Panda, you can just see on his facial expressions, he's definitely not happy that that one didn't go in. I thought he was going to score there shortly. He used a directional nutmeg, a skill move that we were talking about. But to add further to what you were saying, Dan, about the directional nutmeg, you definitely have to learn how to defend against it. Sometimes, right, you feel like you're doing everything right to defend against it, but it still doesn't work out. What I would recommend is anticipating it. You have to anticipate the skill move. And that right there is a good way to counter that directional nutmeg. It's all these things that players, uh... pros, and just your casual player are having to adjust to as the timeline goes on for FIFA 21 and people develop those skills and learn the more powerful ones to utilize. You've then got to go on the training pitch and learn how to defend against them. And perhaps for both players here, if they can defend against those directional nutmegs, they might be able to be a little bit tighter at the back as it has created so much gaps and opportunities for them already in these first 70 minutes. Breathe as it's bad. possession for Pablo. Oh, Breathe, bro. Bruno Fernandes and Renato Sanchez just linking up in the midfield, waiting for maybe a pass. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Neymar getting a little bit of pace injected into the game now. Ronaldo trying to find Neymar again on the turn, but Walker can stop it. Or can he? Neymar still has the ball. Here's Ronaldo short the goal. It's going to be three. Pablo reinstates his goal lead. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo just wrestling the defenders to get the goal. Yeah. That right there was such a good looking goal from Pablo taking the lead. It all stemmed from that Neymar. Nice little shimmy shimmy. Neymar honestly could have gone brought, brought down inside the box. Very close to, been, to being a pin. Uh, Pablo's going to be happy though that he retained ball possession. Found Cristiano Ronaldo. And Cristiano Ronaldo just powered himself through the, the box and found the back of the net. Very big goal. We're seeing Pablo using the 4-4-2. Something I like about Pablo's attack is that he's very direct. He's just not scared to go forward. Um, he doesn't overthink plays that time. And I feel like that right there is what makes him a good attacking player. He, he definitely scores a lot of goals. Going forward, Pablo looks incredible. It's just his defense when Savvy Panda has had the ball for a long period of time. Pablo almost just encourages Savvy to start walking up on him. Offers up those gaps, and then Savvy Panda takes full advantage of them. But Pablo will be happy. He's in the lead. It may just be by a goal, but at least he hasn't crumbled after the two-goal advantage was taken away from him. As now Pablo regains possession once again here. Trying to just break away from the man with Bruno Fernandes. He works hard and wins the ball back. Now can look to link up with Mbappe. James gives the ball away to Cristiano Ronaldo. Massive chance here for Pablo. Stops up, but James comes back and makes up for the earlier mistake here. Oh, man, that was such a great chance right there for Pablo. Panda is definitely going to be having a word with his defensive back line right there. He cannot be giving a ball possession in those areas, causing an insane counterattack. Very, very big save right there from his defense. Ten minutes left of these... First 90 minutes, second leg to come afterwards, and it is loser comes goes home. Not comes home, they're not coming to join me. They are staying home in their own home. But it is double elimination, and we are in the lower bracket. So it's as simple as if you lose, you are out of the competition. And for Pablo, he could do with holding on to the ball a little bit here. Ensuring that Savvy Panda doesn't get too many opportunities in these final five. As Bruno Fernandez just slowly dawdling forward. Again, utilizing Renato Sanchez alongside him and not scared about spreading the play and going all the way back to his fullbacks. Kleiber plays it through to Neymar. It's a misplaced pass. 
Which now will give Savvy Panda arguably the last attack of the game here, Alan. Seeing right there, I don't know. If you're Pablo, you do not want to be giving up ball possession. I, I myself thought that he was going to be the experienced player right there and hold the ball until the last kick of the game. Um, however, though, he, he played it forward, part of his direct attacking play style. It, it can definitely cause him right here. One minute of added on time, and Savi Panda gives the ball away. Manages to wrestle it back with Zinchenko. So he is going to have the last kick of the game here. Cristiano Ronaldo, heel to heel. And ball rolling away from the man. Generates a little bit of space, still has it, but Rafael Varane will get the ball in the end, and it's going to be the end of the first 90 minutes. Pablo taking the lead 3-2. to two with 90 still to play. A good display from Savvy Panda to get back into the game, Alan, but ultimately it's Pablo who's going to be all smiles. Yeah, definitely. Pablo played very well right here. His debut game live on stream. Um, very nice resilience, though, from Savvy Panda. He was down by two, came back, equalized, but then Pablo didn't let that get to him, didn't let him phase him, and uh, he found the go-ahead of goal. 3-2, all to play for in the second leg. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I mean, both of these guys... Are, are using the wide formations, Pablo using the 4-4-2, keeping the ball in the midfield with Renato Bruno Fernandez, two midfielders that we have seen um, throughout this competitive FIFA season. They're very, very good. Uh, both are sort of box-to-box -box midfielders. They can both defend and attack. So, I mean, definitely good midfielders to have. Oh, we've seen how integral they've been in all the lineups throughout this weekend's tournament. As we look back at some of the Highlights from that first leg. It was all Pablo to begin with. The directional nutmeg being able to beat James and the finish near post easily beating Nick Pope. But it was a second goal as well for Pablo here. Again, near post with Cristiano Ronaldo banging it home. But there were a lot of chances for both players and Savi Fala did very well to get back into this. Again, he was utilizing the directional nutmeg a little bit later, but I love this goal. The quick footwork from Neymar. That goal was so beautiful. It's just, it just shows his calmness in the box, doesn't get too panicky, too nervy. And that's that's a part of Savvy Panda's play style. He's very confident on the sticks. It comes down to all of the hours he has put in, the training against top players. Um, once again, he's fifth for a reason. This goal right here was amazing. Nice little skill move, Ronaldo to Neymar. Neymar could have gotten brought down there. He retains ball possession, finds Ronaldo, and Ronaldo slides it into the back of the net. Big goal right there for Pablo, and we've seen on his face, he was so happy about it. Pablo definitely is just that person that shows a lot of emotion, right? It's, it's always good to show the emotion. It just goes to show like how into, into the game he is, how in tune he is with what he's playing, how much it means to him. As you guys can just see, he's ready. And this is just a part of him. And you can just see the similarities between real life football and virtual football. Once again, Pablo played in university college at the high level. And I mean, I know a lot of people that play at the high level that like to show their emotions, you know, just have fun with the beautiful game. My concern is what happens if he goes behind in this game? Because at all times, he's at least been level or ahead and we've not seen him behind. Is he still going to have the mental to go into that and actually be able to come back like Savvy Panda did? We know Savvy Panda can make a comeback. We've already seen that. He's displayed that in previous tournaments. He's got the experience as well. But for Pablo, if he does go behind, will the kind of adrenaline rush hit him a little bit too hard and suddenly makes a couple of mistakes here or there? Perhaps frustration starts to kick in. So ideally, I'd like to see him not go behind because you don't want to have that test for any player. But I think that will be something he'll have to overcome if that situation does arise. But for now, he still has the lead as we kick off the second 90 minutes and the second leg of this tie in the lower bracket. Savvy Panda will be kicking off left to right in the darker kit and Pablo in the white strip from right to left. Yeah, and thankfully for Pablo, he hasn't had to come back from a deficit so far. It has all been him taking the lead and maintaining the, the even scoreline. So we'll see how his mentality game is if he does go down in the game. But so far, it's looking good for him. This is it, second leg right here. If you lose, you're eliminated. If you win, you, you progress forward. Big game right here. Questionable pass there from Ferland Mendy, giving possession back to Savvy Panda. Neymar manages to directional nutmeg around one, finds a tell, nice little shimmy, and it's gonna work out as well. Savvy Panda gets the opening goal in the seventh minute here. 
And we were questioning what are the mental's going to be like for Pablo if he's going to go behind. Well, suddenly it's all square again. Just like that, Savvy Panda, I'm telling you. You can't rule him out at all. You can have the lead over him by two goals, but that's just not enough against him. Um, he, he always finds a way back. He's very calm, cool, collected, as we've seen right there. Nice little goal that he scored with the tall a birthday item. So good. A tall, we were talking about it yesterday. So versatile, you can use him anywhere. He has that five-star skills, great weak foot. Just an amazing player to have. He possesses all the qualities that you need, honestly, uh, on the pitch. Yeah, I I'm personally didn't do Sanchez or at all, and uh, I regret it very much. But he's worked out here for Savvy Panda. That's how grabbing the very important goal that he needed. But Pablo still has possession now and has, in the previous 90 minutes, at least been able to go back ahead after throwing away a lead. So he shouldn't let... It get him two down just yet. But another goal for Savi Panda, and suddenly this gets very scary as Pablo holding on to the ball in the midfield with Renato Sanchez tries to play it through, but it's not a good enough pass in the end. Sanchez now at the other side. And a chance for Savi Panda to try and go ahead for the first time in this game. Pablo so close to securing that playoff spot of course that's what all these players are trying to achieve today just get that clarification that they will be part of the playoffs as savvy panda with ronaldo manages to turn on the ball back to renato sanchez can neymar offer up a little bit of room or is it going to be a directional nutmeg opportunity maybe looking to just bait it here Pablo starting to get a little bit antsy with his defenders. Just trying to play a switch and try and keep up with the play. Here's Neymar again, dished out wide, but finally Pablo retrieves the ball. You have to question if Panda meant to do that right there. Maybe he tried to go for the fake shot and it turned into the, the cross because some people fake their shot with the cross and then they cancel it with the X button. However, though, I need to point out, you can tell Panda is feeling himself. You can tell that he's becoming a little bit more dangerous whenever he starts using all of these skill moves, the quick left stick dribbling, the cancels, as we can see right here. You do not want to be on the receiving end, but Panda that is feeling himself on the sticks. Um, as someone who has came up against him, once he starts doing the croqueta cancels, the Megiri spin cancels, just quick dribbling, you can tell he's confident. He's warmed up on the sticks. And just to clarify, it's 3-3 on aggregate. Savvy Panda grabbing that goal. I think the players just forgetting to select that aggregate score line when they were setting up the game. And sometimes I think they do it to make my life harder, but it's okay. I appreciate the extra hard work that I have to put in just to keep track of what the score line is. And Alan, maybe you can help me out as well, but I think I'll be okay. 3-3. Three, three. And the chance for Pablo to try and take the lead again, though, here with Renato Sanchez. Bruno Fernandes playing it forward to Neymar. He's got a lot of room to work with in the box, but turns the wrong way. And now Savvy Panda going up the other side can try and take advantage of maybe some players out of position, but they've all tracked back very quickly here. As I was going to say, Panda, now that the game is, is level, he's keeping ball possession a little bit more than Pablo. Pablo, he's going forward. You know, he's a direct player. He doesn't really mind losing the ball possession. I think that stems with him. Oh, great opportunity. Hold on, nice. Second, and oh, it's a finish as well. I don't think that Savvy Panda was expecting Fernandez just to burst through like that. But Pablo regains the lead 4-3 now. And Bruno Fernandez, what a finish as well. Just tucking it in offside the left of that upright. Nice driven shot across goal. What a run indeed from Bruno Fernandez, team of the year. Panda did not expect that at all. And that comes from being unpredictable. Pablo was very unpredictable there. He knew that Panda was anticipating that cut inside. He, he wasn't expecting for Bruno to dribble past all of his defenders and he caught him off guard. That at this level, you gotta be unpredictable. You gotta do the things that your defenders just not gonna expect. Well, there's always been a response from Pablo. And Savvy Panda has to come from behind once again here. As he's leading the charge with Renato Sanchez, who's been that focus point in the midfield time and time again. Neymar now. Can he turn? Can he get the shot away? No. Nice defensive work from Pablo. And you saw a mini celebration on his webcam there as well. That tackle almost as much as a goal. 
I was going to point that out as well. It, it just goes to show that every possession matters. Every win matters at this level. They're super focused right now. Zoned in. Ronaldo, great chance here to Mbappe. Mbappe on the turn, finds Neymar, tries to shimmy away from Carl Walker. Definitely danger, danger signs for Savvy Panda. He's at least been able to stop that goal from going in, and that's going to be offside for him as well. But Pablo looks very dangerous going forward, but maybe shouldn't have rushed that pass. Yeah, oof, that right there is very uncharacteristic from Panda. Panda, I mean, we still have an entire second half to play. Uh, right now, Pablo's going to have the last attack of this half, I do believe so. The next goal is going to be very, very big, Dan. If Pablo scores, he's going to double his lead, 5-3. But if Panda scores, right, he, he brings it back to, to even. And maybe, who knows, Panda could take the lead for the first time. He hasn't done so yet, just yet. Well, every time that Savvy Panda has responded with an equalizer, Pablo has always come back and put himself ahead. There's only 45 li minutes left for him to try and hold on to this lead now. And as you get closer to those, you know, those dying moments where you are still winning, you might start holding on to the ball a little bit more, wasting a little bit more time. And Savvy Panda, I'm sure, will be aware of that and will want to get a goal sooner rather than later because things get increasingly difficult the further you get into the game because Pablo will be holding on to that ball and restricting the chances for him. But with 45 minutes left, would you like to see any tactical changes, Alan? Or do you think Savvy Panda's offered enough here, regardless of any substitutions and whatnot? Yeah, he's offered enough. I don't think he needs to make any drastic changes just yet. Continue playing your game. Um, like I said, the next goal is huge. So if you concede, maybe then that's whenever you're going to start having to play a higher line, um, making substitutions, as we can see right here. Pops is bringing in Kleber, uh, bringing those fresh legs in. Very, very important. It can give you the extra edge over your opponent. And I mean, I want to point out, these guys have played each other in this exact same qualifier um, earlier on, and now they're playing right now. They, they met up again. Uh, the first time they played, Pablo won 6-4 against uh, Panda. So, I mean, maybe this next goal for Pablo will seal the deal. Maybe history will repeat itself. And Pablo will be able to take down Savvy Panda again and do Alan a favor when Alan got knocked out of the tournament by Savvy Panda. But uh, for Pablo, he had an opportunity from that free kick. I like that he went for something a little bit different. It didn't quite work out. And now on the counter attack is Savvy Panda. But he's been trying to find these through balls and they haven't managed to break through. Might have to look to go back to his more patient approach where he is slowly building up rather than looking to hit. Pablo on the counter-attack quickly, but you can understand why he's trying to rush some things as Neymar is there and available in the middle of the box. We'll play it back to Renato. Mbappe just trying to break away from the fullback now, but needs a little bit of support. Uh, doesn't find it, though, as Tavernier steps in and steps in just at the right time. Yeah, I want to see if Panda utilizes this ball possession. He has been playing sort of rushed, uh, which is very uncharacteristic from him. He usually is the type of guy that keeps ball possession and then slowly but surely works himself into a good scoring opportunity with the strikers. And right now, he's keeping the ball possession, which is something that he has the luxury of doing right now. There's still plenty of time in the game. Cristiano Ronaldo, we're seeing all of these different iterations. However, though, it's very important to, to no notice that Pablo's defending very well. We got to give credit to Pablo's defensive abilities. We have seen how much it means to him. To make a defensive tackle, he's basically celebrating a defensive tackle as if he has scored a goal, uh, which just goes to show how, how locked in he is at the moment. He's certainly very switched on and has been player switching successfully and watching all of the different possibilities from Savvy Panda's players. Tracking those runs, keeping his eyes peeled to ensure there's not going to be an easy directional nutmeg against him either. Just keeping his players at a safe distance, knowing when to step in and when not to step in. And now it's Pablo with possession and a chance to maybe wrap this game up with a two-goal lead. Neymar still has the ball, but eventually is denied. And now Savvy Panda will look to try and break away here. He hasn't had much success on the counter-attacks. Admittedly, it's been goals from when he's taken a little bit more time to build up and force Pablo to bring a couple of players out, make that mistake. But Pablo isn't making those mistakes at the moment. 
He's been very tight at the back. Hasn't allowed Savvy Panda to get those passes through. You can see his player switching, just trying to block off those angles, cover those passing lanes. Savvy still looks for a breakthrough here, and perhaps it can come from Cristiano Ronaldo. Needs some skill moves, though, and Varane is there. Maybe it's time to switch things up if you're Panda. Yeah. He hasn't really been going forward with the counters, as you mentioned. He's been having to keep off possession. He's basically trying to play around Pablo's box, hoping, hoping that he creates an empty space that Panda can exploit. But that's just not working out. We did see that Pablo um, was being unpredictable in his go-ahead goal. So maybe Panda needs to start being unpredictable, changing things up in the attack instead of keeping that ball position, go forward, hit Pablo's defense with a nice skill move um, like this right here. Good opportunity, Ronaldo. Panda needs a goal. Still behind on aggregate here. As he will find Zinchenko. <gasps> Licks it up. He's still got the ball somehow. I feel like that was accidental, but Neymar manages to pick up the pieces. Still possession for Savvy Panda. Things getting a little bit nervy at the back, and now it's Cristiano Ronaldo on the turn. Fakes it. Goes back in on his left, on his right. Heel to heel, and there's the finish. That's exactly what Savvy Panda needed. Pablo just not able to keep track of where that ball was going. Expert finish and expert play there from Savvy Panda. An amazing textbook finish right there from Panda. I'm telling you, he is a dangerous man going forward. He likes to score goals. One of the best attacking players in North America, honestly. Um, he knows how to exploit your, your defense. He has so many different tricks up his sleeves. Quick fake shot cancels. He knows where to turn at, this, at the exact time, exact moment. And you can just see Pablo's frustrations there. I think he left a hole on his desk with how hard he hit it. Um, and he's he's not even losing right now. It's it's level four all, but he knows that the game can can surely slip away from him. There's 10 in-games minutes remaining, and he was so close to advancing to the next round. Pablo is going to cue another pause here. Does have possession, though, from the kickoff. Manages to... Find Cristiano Ronaldo, but Bruno Fernandes tracking back. And as Alan said, it's 4-4 in aggregate. So both players still need a goal before the 90th minute. Otherwise, we go to extra time. Neymar into Bruno Fernandes. Are we going to see Savi Panda with the comeback? But this time, finally taking the lead. Hasn't been able to do it thus far in this game. Neymar will turn back on himself and recycle ever so slightly. Here's that patient build-up that we've seen time and time again from Savi Panda. Is there going to be an opportunity that presents itself? Or is he going to have to force one here with a skill move? Maybe a directional nutmeg. Fernandez plays out wide to a tail. Nice quick one-two, hoping that that's going to be enough to draw out the defenders of Pablo. But Pablo's still holding very stiff at the moment as the ball goes wayward. And Pablo now will have possession. And this could be the last attack before extra time, Alan. Oh, great defense there from, from Pablo. All credit right there. Keeping his cool, player switching perfectly. It's not easy to do at all, guys, against a player like Panda. Trust me, from first-hand experience, um, it may look easy watching this, but whenever you're actually in the game defending a guy like Panda, who is super unpredictable, you just know that he can catch you off guard. Whatever you do, he'll counter it. And I mean, for Pablo to be defending him this good, it's, it's very respectable. Can you do it right here, though? Last minute. Last minute, last chance. Otherwise, we're going to extra time. And... I think you'll have to bear with us as we allow the players to set up extra time because without them inputting the aggregate score, they're going to have to go out and restart everything, Alan. But that means we've got more time to at least analyze how that game went down. Again, it was Pablo taking the lead, losing the lead, taking the lead, losing the lead, and eventually we end up at 4-4. I think we've got to take our hats off to how Savvy Panda is always responding. Yeah, his resilience has been amazing. He's not an easy opponent. To defeat, sort of say, to take out, to knock out. And Pablo definitely knows that. I mean, he's had the lead multiple times in this series, and he just hasn't been able to secure it all the time. It seems as it seems as if Savvy Panda is going to come back. Now it's a matter of Savvy Panda. Can he take the lead this time? I feel like if Savvy Panda takes the lead, it's gonna take definitely take a toll um on Pablo's mentality. I mean. As we've seen there, it's very important to point out the little uh, micro-expressions from these players. You can just see how they're feeling. Pablo conceded, and it was to level the game for all. He was acting as if he lost in the 90th minute. He, he hit the desk very, very hard. You can just see 
the frustration. And I mean, we all know that Pablo's an, uh, an emotional player. You could definitely see the emotions in him, right? Um, the positive ones, the negative ones. So it's just a matter of keeping your cool right now. We're heading into extra time and oof, all to play for. Well, we can look back at the highlights then of this matchup from both the first leg and the second leg. It was 3-2 after 90 minutes and Pablo went into leg number two with the advantage. But then Savvy Panda in the early stages of that second leg was able to answer back extremely quickly, just ticking into the seventh minute with a tell. Nice little bit of fancy footwork from him. Just that expressive fake shot working out and doing enough to sell the defender. But then Bruno Fernandes, the run of his life, it's not often you see him just breaking past the defenders like that against Bruno. It was Bruno on Bruno action. Um, Pandas, Bruno did not expect that at all. It, uh, that was honestly one of my favorite goals. Um, it probably wasn't the most complex finish or anything, but just the run, the, the play behind that goal was just brilliant from Pablo, being super unpredictable. And I mean, Dan, this game right here means so much for Pablo. We got to mention this. Panda, he's already secured a playoff spot. This is do or die for Pablo. If he wins, he's getting closer and closer to securing a spot at the North American playoffs later on this uh, year in the season. And I mean, if Pablo loses here, that could be the end of his FIFA 21 season. Just to be completely transparent with you watching, the reason why we're waiting is the players, they didn't put the aggregate scoreline in, so they have to go back out, remake the game, Alan. And there are some implications for that. And Alan, you as a pro player, you know when you're making a game, you have to set the fitness and whatnot going into things. Do you think that that can have an effect on you as a player? Would you rather have the player set to full fitness or half fitness? What are the options you're given when you make the game? Um, so this is the thing. Um, I don't think these guys have changed that. I'm not sure if there is an option to change the fitness on the players. So um, they accidentally didn't add the aggregate score heading into the second leg. And I mean, that can definitely be a big factor. Right now, both of... Um, the, the, the teams are on full fitness. So, I mean, we all know in extra time, players are usually dead. They're slow. And that's when super subs are more effective because they come in with fresh legs and they usually bully the guys that are tired. So are we going to see those fresh legs really being important and maybe making a difference? So I know it's not something that happens very often when you get restarts, but it's always worth talking about because it can be the difference maker at times, but of course, both players on a level, pl level playing field here. As we are back underway in extra time. And then the aggregate score is 4-4 here. Ronaldo playing it back to Bruno Fernandes. Savi Panda trying to be the first to try and initiate an attack here, but it's Pablo now with possession. He's always been ahead or level in this game. He is yet to go behind in this fixture. And I wonder... Will he be able to hold on and hold his mentals if he does go behind, especially after seeing the Hulk smash that he performed on his desk earlier on when he conceded that late goal? Whereas Savvy Panda seems far more calm in his approach to this game. Yeah, definitely. Right now, players are going to take less risks. I can assure you that. They'd rather go into pin shootouts. I mean, it also does stem with how comfortable you are, how confident you are defending. Because I know a lot of players that aren't scared to take risks going forward because they trust in their defensive ability. And that's always so good because honestly, taking risks going forward definitely pays off. It can be the difference um, in the game. Directional nutmeg from Neymar. Manages to keep the ball in play, but it's Bruno Fernandes who picks up the pieces and only a minute or so left in the first half of extra time here. So it's going to be a chance for Savvy Panda to potentially have the last kick before the halftime whistle goes. Needs to be thinking about going forward soon, though. As Renato Sanchez just holding on to the ball at the moment, plays it into Mbappe and Cristiano Ronaldo trying to amp up the pace a little bit. Back to Mbappe. What can you do in the box? Can you be the difference maker here? All does go backwards. You imagine the referee will blow the whistle for halftime, which he does. And that means we've only got 15 minutes left before potentially... Penalty shootout, Alan. Do you think this is where we're going? So far, it's looking like it. Um, very cagey affair this has turned out to be. Um, definitely, the game has changed throughout these two legs. We, we did see, right, Pablo going forward a lot, scoring all the chances he created. So, was savvy. But right now, like I said, in extra time, everything just so different. You know that the game is 
drawing to an end. Penalty kick shootouts um, are a possibility. So let's just see how these guys play. We are seeing a sub right there. Um, Kleber in for the Portuguese right back. Nice subs right here from um, from Panda. Let's see if that if that works out for him and, and Pablo. It could be a penalty kick taker, depending on how far those penalties get. Kleiber might be needed as a goal scorer, but at the moment it's Neymar with the ball, tries to dink one over, and there is Kleiber. But for Pablo, doing some defensive work, so that Sanchez will try and play it through, but denied by his opposition, Sanchez. And suddenly a lot more risky attempted through balls being played by both players, and neither able to find any success with them. And it's going to be about who can get a clear-cut chance here before that final whistle goes, before that penalty shootout. Here is Neymar now. What can you do on the turn? Oh, it's a shimmy. It's lovely. And it's a goal here for Savvy Panda. And for the first time in this fixture, he takes the lead 5-4 in aggregate. And that right there is a very good goal from Panda. Takes the lead for the first time with such a good-looking goal. Oh, my goodness. The micro moves in that goal the way... He, he shot canceled, used that left stick dribbling. That is just a textbook Savvy Panda goal. If that right there does not describe Savvy Panda, you probably have not been watching him enough. He's just so good inside the box, good dribbling. And I mean, he takes the lead for the first time in this series with the, the game drawing to an end. Well, for Pablo, after having the lead throughout the entirety of the game and constantly being pinned back by Savvy Panda, but then regaining the lead. He's only got now eight minutes left to try and find an equalizer of his own. And it was the question I asked after 90 minutes, how would Pablo react if he goes behind? We know that Savvy Panda has a little bit more experience. We've seen him on these broadcasts and it's going to be whether now he kind of hunkers down a little bit, plays a little bit more defensive, more possession-based, holds onto that ball. But for Pablo, he has to go gung-ho now. Everything needs to be thrown forward. Custom tactics adjusted to ensure that all players are pushing up on the pitch. It doesn't really matter if you concede another. You just need to find a goal to try and secure an equalizer and take this to a penalty shootout. 100%. Now that Panda has the lead for the first time, uh, it's not going to be that easy holding on to it. Pablo still has a lot of time to come back. He's probably going to have one more opportunity. We did see that he went constant press, high line, and I mean... We've seen it throughout the FIFA 21 season. It's very difficult um, to play around the team press, the constant pressure. All of your players are marked. So it, it's something that you got to be prepared for, especially when you're heading to a live event where there's a lot of stakes on the line. You have to make sure you're practicing against team press and constant press. You need to know what you got to do. Well, Neymar has done so well in the box there for Savi Panda. And it could well be the winning goal. And he's regained possession here, has Savvy Panda. And that is absolutely massive. Means he can hold on to the ball a little bit here. Nothing going to happen from kickoff for Pablo. Pablo needs to work hard to win this ball back. But Neymar plays it into Ronaldo. And again, that's one of those questionable dinks back out wide. I wonder whether that's an accident. But we've seen it two or three times now. So perhaps he knows something we don't as Ronaldo plays it back into Neymar. The one-two was on, but Savvy Panda are also very aware that he doesn't want to give possession away here. This is where the experience might kick in. And Mbappe, though, makes his run in towards goal. Renato Sanchez to Ronaldo, and oh, my word! What a finish that was! And that's definitely going to be the winning goal for Panda. On the volley, Cristiano Ronaldo ties this game up. And that is easy as you like, 6-4 on aggregate. And that is a huge, huge... Bummer, really, for Pablo. After being ahead for so long, he's not going to have time to find two goals here, Alan. And Savvy Panda does it again. The dagger from Savvy Panda, ending it all, putting the nail in the coffin. Amazing stuff right there from Panda, just showing his resilience. Great attacking play. I mean, Pablo did everything he could. Maybe he's going to question himself a little bit here and there. He's probably going to feel hard done. He played very well. He was up 2-0 at one point, up by two goals. But then Pan is like, hey, guess what? I can equal this and then take that two-goal advantage myself. And he has done just that, showing the experience come into play. Panda moves on and much deserved.
Very deserved, especially with how he performed in the final third. And he just looks so exquisite when he's moving forward in a FIFA. Very impressed with what he had to offer. I mean, final thoughts, Alan. It's Savvy that moves forward. It's Pablo that goes out. But do you think that maybe Pablo could have done a little bit better quickly? Or do you think he'll be looking back at that one and saying, all right, well, I did as good as I can? Um, definitely, there's going to be some things that he could improve on. He's going to know that for sure little things that he could have done to secure the two goal advantage maybe increased it um by three but i mean pablo came up against uh, a not so easy opponent and it's crazy because pablo did beat panda earlier on in this tournament and panda got that sweet revenge and let me tell you getting that revenge does feel good i mean pablo played very well maybe he's gonna look back at the game see some different attacks different passes that he could have done to score some more goals and I mean, probably defend a little bit better. He defended very well throughout this game. It's just that you can only do so much against a player like Panda. He he just has so many different ways of attacking you. And that, that, that's one of the reasons he's here at this, these events. Well, a final fist pump there from Savvy Panda. He's the one who's marching on into the next round, whereas Pablo goes out. But at least he went out with a bit of a bang. It was a fantastic performance from him. We're going to go for a quick break. But when we come back, we'll have all the analysis from that matchup as well as some more FIFA action.